girl. Yep. Do you? Don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine.
Stay, girl. How are you, ma'am? Good morning. Hi there, mister. Hello, ma'am. Meh. <coughs> How y'all doing? Morning, mister. Hey, partner. Good mister. morning to you. you stop. This is the law. Get out of you. Morning. Morning to you, partner. Straight down. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Well, uh, uh, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Please. You came on. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been... Gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out.
This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. <sighs> we'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Look where you're going. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. You got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money, 
And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Hey, you bastard! Hold her right there! Damn it! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh... I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer.
Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? Uh, it'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. How oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you? the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not. Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis.
Flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see. You, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh. Stop it. Wonderful. can see how this can go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain.
enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. If I had some. Then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you.
See some friendly faces around here. Oh, hello, hello sir. mister. Be with you Good evening, mister. Nothing like a fresh start. May I help you? I mean, I lost it. Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny he is. <laughs> Out of the way! Evening. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really? Best mates? He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh. Gav! Where are you? Where are you?
okay there. I'm not much of a storyteller, so uh, forgive me, but I, I really... I, I... I don't have much to say. Life's always confused me. I, I don't feel I understand it very much. Other human beings seem to understand why they were born, but... For me, it seems like I was born to hurt and, and suffer myself. That doesn't always seem like a really good reason. Uh, I wish there was another way. In this land, uh, I feel very stuck. But uh, <clears throat> um, I'm sorry to co complain. I, this is just so. Hello, Arthur. <sighs> All right. Listen, Charles, you're about the best man I know. Rest up, Arthur. You need it. You awake? Arthur, my boy. I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tight on space. 
very nice addition, I think. You'll need to bring me the right materials first, Mr. Morgan. Boys. Hello, gentlemen. Guess we'll see if anyone notices. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson. Hey there. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Miss O'Shea. Oh, hi, Arthur.
I prick my finger again, I swear I'll just throw this on the fire. I'm sure Grimshaw would find some problem with that. Something about watching you clean it gets me all hot and bothered. I love it. You'll not charm me, Mr. Bell. <laughs> I'll certainly try. Hmm? <laughs> How are you? Micah. My old friend, Arthur. There she is. Ah, uh, Mr. Morgan. Really putting your back into it. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. Susan!
Okay. You want to sit, Mr. Moore? Hello, gentlemen. What is your problem, you little strumpet? Please go away. What is your problem? Hello. I got lots of problems. Mostly I drink too much. What's your problem with me? Nothing but the obvious. And what is that supposed to mean? It means go away. Just who do you think you are saying them things about me? I'm the dumb strumpet. Now get lost. Look at me. Look at me. You little... <laughs> Damn you! And you be careful before you hit me again, you goddamn moron! Dutch or no Dutch, you'll be up there with the angels playing harp before sunset. You hear me? You okay? She's lucky that's all she got. She's going through a rough time of it. Well, we ain't the quickest, but we get it done right. Yeah. The best things aren't done in a hurry. There he is. Hey. Arston. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> Smells delightful, Mr. Pearson. Believe me, you'll be the first to know. You think you could ever do it? Go straight, honest work? <laughs> We wouldn't even know where to start. Hello? Miss Grimshaw. <coughs> Who's here? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Come, come, this way. Uh, 
What a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Per la prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Signor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I have none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us someplace to rob. Bill, 
Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find that old Cornwall. What's his name? Milton no, knows we're here. Gentlemen, you will. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? Ah, get me a bloody drink. Good please. evening. A small one. Just big enough for me to swim the lengths, you know? That's my <laughs> only. You know what? that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... This man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Good evening, lady. Bonjour, monsieur. Evening, folks. Sir. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Can you say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what, Well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Hey. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have stand a slip in this house! 
Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. No, that's it. Guards! Guards! We have an intruder. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! There will not have standards slip in this house! you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course. And I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. 
but not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Morning. Lenny!
Let's go, girl. Yeah, easy now.
Welcome back. Got anything good for me by any chance? Sure, let me see. Hello again. Hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. Out your look. I have not been good at all. Alarm at all. Price of tobacco. Just seems to keep dropping. Yep, that's the word in town. Well, there it is. If you're spending time in town, make sure you stop in with Mr. Banks at the general store. Wonderful fella. Good morning, <clears throat> mister. We've had quite enough of your kind here. Thank you. Really. 